Hi, my name is Edna and I'm doing gum paste roses and I'm on the last layer of my gum paste rose. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. Um, I was using a one inch circle and I just went now a little bit bigger because my flower is getting bigger and I want to be able to cover a lot of my base. So, um, just a little bit bigger than the original circle is probably a quarter of an inch bigger right now and you're gonna do the same as you did with the other ones you're gonna take your ball tool and you're gonna go on the top you're gonna take your toothpick roll it on both sides Take your petal, flip it, take your ball tool and roll it in the center and make kind of like a little point. It's not a major thing, the point is just kind of to know where the top is. You're going to do this seven times. Now, I have all my petals, I have my seven petals and I have my flowers still a little bit wet because I'm trying to, you know, do this for you guys. but. Um, we're going to take the glue and we're going to put it in the center only, especially the, the first one because we don't want the whole thing to get glue because the first one we need to open for the last one to go in. And what we're going to do right now is just going to put it and we're going to make sure that it's at the right height. And this is something that you have to watch especially with the uh, separate petals because you don't want your your rose to look like a cabbage you know so just make sure that it's at the right side just kind of go like this and just look at it and then you're gonna work upside down you're gonna be working like this now and you're gonna put some glue at the base again and this one you can put glue at the whole base and you're gonna keep putting them at the same position start at the half of one and just glue that one put some glue on the next one Stop. start at the half and just try to put them all at the same level and as you see I'm putting just the glue at the base I don't want my rose to be sticking in here I just want the glue at the base and you're gonna keep doing that and I'm gonna it might change depending on how big the circle is usually it's around seven so we'll play with that right now I'll put glue on the next one Find it at the half and glue it. And I'm reaching my last one, so I'm using six with this circle. So I'll open my first one, insert the petal in there, have one on one side. Make sure it's gluing on the other side, so you need to lift it a little bit and put more glue. Just do that. Lift the first one and put some glue on the first one just at the bottom. And make sure they're sticking well. And there is your rose. Now, just make sure that they're sticking well what you want to do is if you want them to open more just put some maybe toilet paper like little rolls or maybe a little bit of cotton um, whatever you decide um, in the outer corners these corners the ones that are going to the top just a little bit there and just put it and hang it upside down to dry. This is the way you want to dry your flower. Um, 
If you want a bigger flower, you can add another layer, it would be huge. But uh, this is basically what your rose is gonna end up looking like. If you dry it like that, your petals are gonna open too much. So just hang it upside down. Remember, put your, a little bit of, just a tiny piece of foam and just let it dry. And then you can put your sepal in it. Um, any which one you want. Um, if you wanna color this, sometimes what is best to do is just as you go as you add your layer your layers you color them because when you wait till it's finished it's more difficult to paint them and you can never go inside so if you're drying in between layers just paint in between layers so you can really give them a nice coat of paint i hope you enjoy it remember after you finish you need to put some florist tape around and you can do the same as you did with your rosebud you can put a little ball at the end just to finish it and some leaves and here you go i hope you learned something it's a matter of practice remember there's different cutters that they sell out there we're working with just circles if you plan to do something more fancier just you know um remember there's quarters out there that are meant for this so i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching ta-ta